you got to have a level of bravery to put this thing on TikTok. I Launching a product on TikTok is not for the weak. Like it's all fun and games until the shit go left. Pink sauce, the pickle lady, the uh, candle dude. I can't think of his name. Um, and now you got combat jail and it's probably a whole lot more that I'm not even familiar with. Number one, just because you have a large following doesn't mean that you're going to have a lot of buyers. That's number one. Number two, if this is not your real job, like this is not what you do. This is like a little side hustle thing that you're creating. It can go left really, really quickly. And going viral, everybody thinks that they want to go viral until they go viral. I went viral on, actually I've been viral on every single platform. But when I went viral, <laughs> shit, when I went viral on Instagram, my brand is Southern. I got featured by BuzzFeed. I think it was the high cotton candle or it might have been the sweet tea. I can't remember. But I got called all kinds of mammies, Uncle Toms and Coons because my brand is Southern. I live in the South, born in Alabama. Family is generations back from the South. This is all I know. But because I created a brand about living in the South, I got called all kinds. Of, um, you're talking thousands and thousands of negative comments. That's that was on one time when I went viral. The second time I went viral on Instagram, it was because PayPal did a uh, feature on me. Two million people uh, watched that video and was pissed at PayPal and took it out on me. So when I say you need a coach, I'm not just saying that shit. This is not some lolly bullshit. You need a coach that can help you navigate through this. A lot of her issue from what I can see on the outside is poor branding. Who the product is for was not clearly articulated because when you look at the person using it, the person that created it versus the person that used it, common sense is going to say the product that she used on her hair is not going to translate to that type of other hair. Like that's just common sense. Let me not say that it's common sense. It's common knowledge to people that are in the business. And that is why you need a coach. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm always pushing my program because you need a coach that's been through the fire. You need a coach that has the experience. You need a coach that can walk you through anticipated problems that you're going to have before you even launch. You know, and too many times on this app and in other places, you get these fake coaches that give you bad advice that are not good for you. Yes, I'm always pushing my coaching program, but it's because I'm the best at what I damn it do. You're not going to find a lot of people better at, at what I at what I do than me. You're not going to find a better coaching program. I mean, that's just what it is. So if you're thinking about it, you better get a coach. Find a coach.